I speak up a lot about living life on autopilot. I wanna shed some light on that situation because a lot of people don't understand it. How often do you wake up and you don't even think about all the things that you're gonna do? So think about your morning routine. So for me personally, the first thing I do when I wake up, I might grab my phone, go brush my teeth, wash myself, go to the gym. And these are all things that I do without necessarily having to set my mind to do it because it's became a habit for me. So for me, those are things that I could do on autopilot. When I get into the gym, one day I might have a bad workout, another day I might have a good workout. And more often than not, my better workouts come from me actually putting thought into my workout and actually using that mind to muscle to focus and pushing myself and using that discipline to, to say, you know what, I'm working right now and I'm gonna keep pushing myself. Oftentimes when my workouts are a little bit more sloppy, it's because I'm not necessarily thinking about them. I just go there, I might just go push the bench press, do some curls, whatever it is, and I'm not really putting thought into pushing myself. So for that reason, my workouts tend to become autopilot if I'm not pushing myself by lifting heavier weights, by hitting more reps, by hitting more sets, by maybe doing something out of the ordinary when it comes to what I'm exercising. And this is the same thing with everything else in your life. If you guys just get up and go to work and come back home, watch Netflix, eat, go to sleep, that's you living your life on autopilot. So maybe just sit there and think about the last time that you've done something in your life that was out of the ordinary and that kind of pushes you outside of your comfort zone and makes you feel like, oh, I have to use my mind to be able to do this. I have to think about doing this. If there's things that you're doing without thinking about, once again, it's you living on autopilot. And that's why you probably end up stuck in a rat race where things may look like they're not gonna change or you're stuck in the same position or you're unhappy with something because you get comfortable with doing the same thing over and over again. It's repetition, right? It takes 21 days to create a habit. So you have to be able to knock yourself out of this autopilot mode and sit down and use your brain. Think about what you're doing and understand if I continue to do this this way, is that going to create a different outcome for me? Doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome isn't going to push you anywhere, right? So that being said, what it comes down to is you being able to understand that you're in control of your life. Think about it. If you, this is going to sound stupid, but the finger, the, look, you have a finger and you just choose to wiggle it. This, doesn't, this might not make sense, but think about it. If you have fingers or limbs or whatever and you choose to wiggle it, you're the person that's telling your finger to move. It's the same thing with anything else in your life. If you want to get up and go knock on doors and try to sell something, you could get up and go knock on doors and try to sell something. Who is gonna stop you aside from yourself? If that's not within your character to do those certain things, then obviously you're not gonna do it because it's not something that you've taught yourself to do on autopilot. So you have to train your mind to do things that'll push you in the right direction on autopilot. I don't think living on autopilot is necessarily an issue if everything that you're doing is pushing you in that right direction and the direction that you wanna see yourself in. If there's certain goals you wanna achieve and you've been doing the same thing for five years straight and it's not pushing you towards those goals, then clearly there's an issue with the plane you're flying because you're not putting any thought into what you're doing that can potentially push you to that, that same objective. You sitting back and actually taking the time to, to think about making certain changes could make a 10 year goal realistic within a year or a year goal realistic within a month and could bring that time frame down. I personally, every single day of my life, really just try to figure out what can I do today that's a little bit different from yesterday that might be able to push me into a positive direction. You guys know that when it comes down to being a self-sufficient person, a lot of it is trial and error. There's no formula to strive to achieve your goals. It's a matter of being a self-sufficient person and using your brain power and your brain capacity on a regular basis to do things that will push you in the right direction. Sit back and really think about it. At what point are you when it comes to your goals? And you guys might have a list, a vision board. I personally put together a vision board. I don't necessarily read it all the time, but it's something that I put together so I, I can gain uh, an understanding of where I'm at. So I can allow myself to always look at it and be like, all right, well, have I moved forward? Have I progressed? How far am I from my goal? Am I further than before? Am I closer? And if I'm further or I'm in the same position, then I have to really look at it and be like, all right, well, how long have I been doing the same thing and how many changes can I make? What can I tweak? Where am I seeing issues? A lot of this, once again, is trial and error. For me, 
this entrepreneurship thing, this journey, life is the same thing as me operating an e-com business. What it comes down to is trial and error, tweaking certain things in order to please the algorithm, tweaking certain things in order to find that right pocket of audience that is gonna be purchasing your products. Tweaking a couple things here and there to figure out, all right, if I do this this way, is it gonna be better or worse? This way, better or worse? This way, better or worse? And you do this over and over again until you figure out what is gonna work. That's what it comes down to. It's a matter of gaining a general understanding of who you are as a person and how you can take control and improve your life. Take control of yourself. A lot of you guys just let yourselves go. Let's say you're somebody that's fat as shit. All right, let me not put it like that. I don't, I'm being hard. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's say you're somebody that's fat as shit. And, and listen, I'm sorry if you guys are overweight, but if you're unhappy with being overweight, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. If you're unhappy about being overweight, fucking do something about it. I'm going to be honest with you. Because how long have you been sitting there telling yourself that you're overweight and you want to lose weight and it's time for you to lose weight? And you don't get up and go to the gym. You don't get up and eat better. You just see a cookie in your kitchen and you take it. Fucking do something about it. And this is coming off really harsh. But that's the reality of things. How many times have you guys actually taken the opportunity to, to take control of your situation and looked at it and be like, shit, because I'm fat. I'm fat because I fucking eat too much. How many times have y'all done that? Right? And if you've done it, you know it, and you haven't done anything to, 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 to better that situation, then... It's your fault, and you have to be able to hold yourself accountable to it. If you can't hold yourself accountable to it, why, why are you complaining about it? Why are you depressed about it? Why are you even feeling down about it? All right, look, it's not even an issue if you're okay with being overweight. Because at the end of the day, I don't discriminate. I don't really care. It's your body, not mine. I personally have gone through these things. I've been in positions where I felt like I was personally overweight, and I've procrastinated in order to better myself. Even right now, I'm trying to cut weight. And there's certain things that I do and I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. But at least I can see it and hold myself accountable to it. And I'm not clueless as to why I'm overweight. Some people eat like 25 fucking Big Macs a day and they'll be like, shit, I don't know why I'm overweight. Come on, try to understand the situation. That's all I ask of you guys. So if there's something that you guys, honestly, as well, sorry if you guys took offense to anything I said. I'm just kind of like that. If there's anything that you guys are unhappy about in your life right now, take control of it, hold yourself accountable to it and make a change to it. Right? And if you're not going to make a change to it, don't fucking complain. I'm going to put it like that. I'm sorry. That's how it is. So I hope that you guys take this. I know it's harsh and blunt. That's the type of person I am. The, the videos I was posting were a little bit more calm. But I want to be able to be myself and speak to you guys the way that I speak. A lot of these things come off as, as harsh. And I don't mean to be offending anybody. I genuinely want to help you guys. So think about it. Take control of your life and hold yourself accountable. And I think that'll be the lesson of today. I gotta go run into this uh, place here to go get my ID. So that'll bring us to the end of the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.